Hello, my crafty friends. It's Sue, your not so crafty crafter. I um, am here with a Hobby Lobby haul for you this morning. Um, I also just recorded another video for an unboxing from a, a card kit. So watch for that. That'll be loaded along with this one. Um, but I wanted to share some things I picked up at Hobby Lobby this week. I'm not going to say yesterday. I did go yesterday and picked up a few things, which include these paints you see. And then I went earlier in the week and picked up some other stuff. Um, the Paper Studio stuff was 40% off, so I picked up some things from that as well. Um, <clears throat> what you see here in front of you are some more paints that were in the clearance aisle. Um, they had some of the bigger bottles. I wanna say if they're like four ounce bottles, cause these are in two ounce, no, they're bigger than that. They might be six or eight ounce bottles, but they were on clearance. A lot of those were on clearance, basic colors. So if you're just getting out, that's a great way to get started. Buy the things that are on clearance, play. If you don't like them, it's not a ton of money wasted. Um, I always buy these because I don't do a ton of painting. So these are perfect for me. I do have a joy sign. I have, a, I made one, it's over on the other side of my room, but I have another one and I thought that was my word of the year once, several years back. And uh, these were designed to be Christmas elements. They're the big wooden sets from Hobby Lobby and I painted them colors that I like because I feel like we need joy in our life all day, every day. We need to share joy with others all day, every day. It shouldn't just be a Christmas sentiment. It's an all day, every day thing. So there you go. That's why I buy small paints so I can make my little wood projects at random. Sorry. All right. This one I'll go first because it was only 47 cents and this is called Seafoam. It's by Ceramico, made by Delta. Very pretty pretty color. I have a, some like this, but this I think is a little bit lighter and brighter. Then I found these specialty paints and these are really, really gorgeous. This one is Lavender Hearts. And I did not notice the sticker on top of this when I did my first video because I had these laying on their sides so that you could see the pretty hearts inside. Trying to get the camera to focus. Oh, the sun is coming up. Can you see those hearts? See the little hearts inside there? And then this one is mint and it's just, it's called polka dots. So it's got little dots in it. Really pretty color. This one is pinky pie. And again, it's like that other one. It's just got the little flat sequins in it. This one, unfortunately, I cannot read the name on because that is just too dark. Looks like it's a mermaid turf, but I'm not sure. But again, it's got the polka dots in it. Really pretty. So I think this one... And this one might be my next joy sign. I'm not sure. I might do it in pink and put a coat of that on top. You never know. Then I found some of these earlier in the week. They still had some Easter stuff left. Now, yes, this is going to be put away because that is obviously very Easter themed. <clears throat> and I was these were 50% off when I bought them. Yesterday when I was in the store... The Easter stuff was 66% off, but it was basically like table decor, that kind of stuff. Um, and then I found these. These were $1.25. And yes, there are bunnies in here. And there is one egg. I bought three of them. But I really loved these houses. And this whole sheet screams spring to me. And I will share in a second a card I made using puffy stickers that I got that had spring flowers in them. In fact, I'll share that with you now. Uh, I used puffy stickers like this, only they were, oh, they were like this. And I made this card. I was just playing around one night and I wanted to use a new Elizabeth craft die that I made and I wanted to make it more spring than Easter. So I used some of these puffy stickers inside the basket and I love it because I don't know how it worked out that way, 
but the dimension is the same. The puffy stickers don't look childish at all. I think that just looks so cute. And that's always my fear. This is that if I use stuff like this, these puffy stickers and the other kind of stickers, it's going to look childish and immature. And that's not my goal at all. Not that being childish and insecure. No, immature. Sorry, not insecure. Is a bad thing because we all need to bring out the child in us from time to time. But I sell my cards, so I don't want anything to anyone to think I'm just throwing this together, you know, like a random six year old. And I just really, really like this card. So, <clears throat> and then this is another one I made. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. I'm done with the stickers. I'll bring out the paper pads in a second. This is an example of one of those. Um, layered dies no not layered dies layered stencils this is a pink fresh or pink fresh studios stencil that i got up at uh, memory bound that was on clearance and it had a big die with it so i went ahead and i tried playing with it and i love how it came out i'm using paper from a paper pad the colors are coordinating and i used a new die and some flat black flat back pearls and i love this card i just love the soft colors on this so there's that. See, I make cards with my paper, folks. I know a lot of people say, oh my goodness, they buy all this stuff and they share it with us, but they never show us what they do with it. That's a pet peeve of mine. So, all right. I hit Walmart yesterday to buy some groceries and I'm on a couple of card making Facebook groups. If you're not, check them out because most of them are amazing. Um, Stamp Junkies is one that I love a lot. Um, but somebody asked about envelopes for mini slim line cards. Now, yes, there are envelope makers out there. I know my envelope punch board doesn't give dimensions for those, but I'll have to check and play with it. Um, and I know... There are regular slimline envelopes, but those are too big for a mini. Someone said they've been using these. Now, these are the peel and stick envelopes from Walmart by Pen and Gear. You can get them anywhere. They're just your basic small business envelope. I use large business envelopes for my slimline cards, so this just made sense to me. And they were like $267 for $100. You can get a box of $500 on Amazon for like $13, bucks, $14. Bucks, so... Whatever floats your boat, jump on it. Now Hobby Lobby. I saw that this was not on sale in any way. I was just kind of walking through to see what was new. They had a lot of new stuff finally coming in. Um, they do have some of the new Tim Holtz dies that he's just released over the last two um, videos that he's done. Um, they do have the big words, the block dies. Similar to the one I shared in a previous video, but it's the number one. I have the number two. I am waiting for that to go on sale. When it's 40% off, I am picking that up. So, but anyway, I was walking through the aisles and this caught my eye. This is by Memento. I love this image on the bottom because I have made cards in the past. I have an image similar to this and I use it as a silhouette stamp. I just do it in black ink. Now it's a solid image. This one is not, but I just wonder what the outlines would look like on a pattern paper. And I'll show you what I mean by pattern paper here. Paper Studios was on sale, 50% off this week. So I bought two mini or six by six pads that I don't have. And I'll flip through them. This one is called um, Moody Florals. Really pretty darker background type. I was flipping through it and this jumped out at me and I thought, oh my gosh. And I just watched a video yesterday of her with Rebecca Keppel, Kippel, where she's doing big cards, six by six, five and a half by five and a half, slim lines <clears throat> and five by seven cards. And I thought I could trim like a half an inch on this side and a half an inch from the bottom. And what a beautiful wedding card that would make with a congratulations in gold across. How beautiful would that be? So we might make some of those today. And then just to flip through. Now I like these pads. The paper is a little bit sturdier. It's not paper. It is cardstock, maybe 80 pound. It doesn't say. But you get three 
of each of 20 designs. That's another one that would be pretty for a wedding card. I really love that. That's pretty. I love the gold foiling in these. That would be a very nice wedding card as well. Don't ask me why white flowers and weddings. White flowers make me think of weddings. That's what I wanted to say. Sorry. And then there's some marbled in here with the gold that I thought would really be nice for some masculine cards with Father's Day coming up. So there's that. And that's another one. I just love this image. So there's those. And then I bought this one. This one I do not have. I have several of these. I have actually these two paper pads that I, the big pads I have, I have in smaller versions. Um, this one is floral collage. Collage. And I love, there's some stamps with, there's pages with borders around. And a lot of people are like, what do you do with a page like that? You're losing half of the design. Well, I'm thinking if I cut it, this or this one I can do either way, but that's a mini slimline card. And if you do it like this and then have a bottom opening card or top folded card where you open it from the bottom, there's your border. A lot of people use these in scrapbooking pages too. I know a piece like this, with your, flower, your image mounted on it and then all of your other stuff around the background. This would make a great eight and a half by 11 page, with the same thing. <clears throat> so, I'm not an orange person, but for some reason, these images with the orange and the peach in it, I love peach, don't get me wrong, and I love coral, but flat out orange, mm, not my jam, but man, I love that. That's really pretty too. I do like blue and orange together because, you know, I'm a Florida Gators fan, but yeah, so some of these images are so pretty. That's cute. That's really pretty. There's one, the very first image in this pack is nice. These are nice background papers. There's another one, if I cut it this way and a side fold card, there's your mini slimline panel. Love that. That's really pretty. That's pretty too. I like blues like this, baby blues. That's pretty. That's pretty. That was the one that caught my eye when I opened the pad. When you open a pad and the first thing you look at catches your eye, that's a pad for me, man. All right. And then I bought two. I didn't open these because I have these. Already in six by six. Ah, sorry. I have both of these in six by six. This is the distressed floral pad. These were 50% off, so I paid $10.99. And I'll just kind of scroll through the images that are on the top of the... This one has a lot of the wood background designs which I think are amazing. Um, you'll have to click on another video. I'll see if I can tag the video at the bottom. I'll go this way. Love these with the wood. That is so pretty. But my plan for these is to... Now, here's my thinking. I can buy two of these for $11.99. Right? It's half off, so it's like six dollars. Five fifty, so it'd be eleven dollars if I bought two of them at half price, whatever. Um <clears throat> and I have a hundred and twenty sheets because there's sixty in each. Or I can buy one of these for about the same price. It'd be this was ten ninety nine at half off. And since it's twelve by twelve, cut it this way, cut it this way. I have 240 sheets of six by six paper, six times four, at a lower price than two of those. And since I love this paper so much, that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I got the Distress Floral, and then I'll share this one with you too. I'll do the same thing. I'll scroll sideways. This is the Dried Floral, and this is one of the first ones I bought with this new Paper Studios line that I absolutely 
love these images and then I'll go across just so pretty this is the one this image is what's on the back of one of my cards that I just showed you so yeah really really pretty love these so that's all I have for today folks um I hope your weather is cooperating with you it was 70 here Saturday and Sunday or no Friday and Saturday but it was kind of eh, overcast and icky sun came out for a little while yesterday but then in the evening we had tornado warnings again and all kinds of storms brewing north of us so today it's only supposed to be in like the high 50s so I'll take that over 20 or negative 20 any day um uh, take care of yourself stay healthy do you be kind. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like this video, share it with a friend if you think they might be interested. I'm trying to grow my channel a little bit here. I've been, other than last weekend where we had a health crisis in my house and spend, um, a family member spent four days in ICU and we spent four nights in a hotel across the street from the hospital so we were close by if we were needed. Um, I didn't get to do anything for you and I apologize for that but it is what it is and um, <clears throat> I'm going to try and amp up I would like to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of summer um, one of the things I'm going to try to do is putting some cards together online you know on camera I don't do technique videos because I did one or two and I got slammed with really nasty negative comments and uh, honestly Typically, I have a very thick skin, and that doesn't bother me, but that did. For whatever reason, that really knocked me off my my rocker there, and I haven't done one since. So this is why I say be kind, choose your words wisely. There's a difference between constructive criticism and just being nasty. So um, I'm going to try and do something called What's Up Wednesday. I did the series a couple of years back um, when my craft room was smaller and more organized um but basically what that is is I'm just going to show you whatever I have going on my desk on Wednesday um Monday or Tuesday will be work days for me I will leave stuff laying out and I will show you projects I've worked on or projects I'm going to be working on or things that I do to try to make life a little easier when I'm in my craft room might be some organizing tips might be some things like pre-cutting paper very boring but Sometimes you got to do it to make life work easier so you have more time to do the actual crafting than the busy work. So y'all know what I mean. Anyway, I'm rambling and I'm going to let y'all go and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Y'all take care of yourself. Bye.